Langchain and Llama Index are the two most popular frameworks to build Gen AI applications. However, I also believe they are the two worst frameworks I've ever used. And in this video, I will explain to you why I would just recommend you just hitting the pip uninstall command on both of those, as this will save you a lot of time and misery in the future. I've been building Gen AI applications since the day that the ChatGPT API was released. In the past years, I've built an AI therapist, an AI code review tool, an AI startup generator, a assistant which should help you with giving uh, advice about what you should eat and at my job at a large healthcare company i'm also responsible or my team is responsible for building gen ai applications and assistance for both internal and external use like many of you who are also building gen ai applications you eventually come across this library called langchain and its alternative llama index and I've used personally both of those. I used Langchain to implement my AI therapist as I was still very new to Gen AI as it was just getting as the OpenAI API was just getting released. And initially I implemented my entire assistant using this OpenAI API, but as Langchain was getting a lot of, a lot of hype, I decided to, to try it out and refactored my assistant to use Langchain. And I also tried out Llama Index to implement a prototype of a rack assistant as um, Llama Index promised to be very good at rack. At first sight, both of these libraries are very promising as they offer a lot of seemingly complex classes. They are also widely used and um, they promise to make developing assistants much easier. However, for both of these libraries, I quickly found out that this was not the case. And the main problem I have with these libraries is that they just contain needless abstractions which make your code base very complex. Even when just implementing the assistant from the Llama Index tutorial, my team found it very hard to understand what was actually happening in the code without having to delve into the documentation as it the, the code base is basically just a lot of abstractions built on top of abstractions. Like just look at all the classes that Llama Index offers, such as query engines, chat engines, post processors, response synthesizers, it all makes it really complex. And you also spend a lot of time just reading the documentation, which is not very well written, to know how to implement a chat assistant or a rack assistant. And all that time could also just be spent just learning how Rack works at a basic level. And then you would come away with a much better understanding of how to use, um, how to implement a good chatbot. And this also becomes a problem, all these abstractions, as you basically have no clue without diving deep into the library code how the LLM is actually called. So when something goes wrong with your assistant, which eventually it will happen and you basically have no clue at all what actually went wrong so you will end up diving deeply into the library code to eventually find out where the OpenAI call is actually happening which is just not the way to go forward and the another maybe the most important reason is that it's just much easier to just use the OpenAI API to uh, implement assistants than to use these libraries. To really show you what I mean with that Langchain is pointless, I implemented a basic text classification task which is the OpenAI Python library. I do it like this. First off, I write a prompt that I want to classify a certain piece of text and I do this with using Python template strings. I then write a Pydantic object which specifies what I want the model to output. I want it to uh, classify the sentiment of the text, the language and uh, the aggressiveness. I then create the OpenAI client, um, create a classified text method which takes an input text, text, it formats my prompt with that input text and then just calls a GPT model. Um, I specify that the output should look like this. So when I invoke it, um, you will see that it correctly classified that the text is Spanish and that it's very aggressive. So let's also see how we can do the same thing with just using Langchain. Um, and you will notice that 
uh, it's just a lot of pointless abstractions over what we were doing before. Instead of just using Python template strings, which are literally built into the Python language, we, uh, Langchain wants to, to you to use a chat prompt template class, which is very complex, it seems, and just does almost the same as the uh, Python template string. Um, and then once again, uh, we need to specify a Pydantic model to check what the output should look like. And instead of uh, in initializing an OpenAI client like this, we need to initialize the OpenAI client um, with the chat OpenAI class and also specify here the model and that we want to use this as a structured output classifier. Um, and you will see that um, this is once again is very complex so I don't even know at first sight what's happening but with a bit more um, searching you will quickly notice that is just a wrapper around the same OpenAI client that we used here. So um, then you take once again your input instead of calling format on your uh, template string we need to call invoke on our uh, chat prompt template and then we need to invoke the LLM with this prompt. So just a lot of abstraction about over something which is already very simple and it also has many downsides. For example, I don't know whether this prompt is being used as a system prompt or a user prompt. For example, a system prompt is meant for more um, general instructions, what the assistant needs to do. And I noticed that sometimes a system prompt works better than a user prompt. Um, for this use case, it's the same, but I wouldn't even know what's happening and whether it's being used as a system prompt or user prompt. So when you want to debug, you will spend a lot of time just figuring out where this invoke method, for example, is implemented. And eventually you will just find the same OpenAI call what's happening here but you can't change anything about it because it's ingrained in the library. So even if you found out where it went wrong, you couldn't change anything about it. To be honest, I've almost never encountered a framework as bad as Langchain and Llama Index. I think an example of a good library is something like PyTorch, as this one does offer useful abstractions. When I'm writing and training neural networks, I don't want to think about having to implement matrix multiplications or backpropagation back myself. And it's also very hard to write that in a performant way in C, for example, which is what PyTorch uses. And also when I'm noticing my neural network isn't training, I don't have to go down in the um, C code to check if uh, the backpropagation is correctly implemented. It just makes me wonder who actually the target audience for both these frameworks are. As if you're a new programmer or don't feel comfortable with implementing it yourself, then you can easily just use the OpenAI Assistance API or UI, which makes it very easy to implement Rack Assistance and it also comes bundled with a vector uh, database so you don't have to deploy that yourself and when you're a more advanced programmer you can just easily implement the abstractions that um, uh, Langchain and Llama Index offers yourself and make those abstractions more uh, tailored to the application that you're implementing. So in conclusion, if you want to build GenAI applications, just use the ChatGPT API as many other LLMs such as Cloud and Llama also offer endpoints that are compatible with it. Um, you can use Langchain as a learning resource, but eventually if you move on beyond experimentation, just implement abstractions that are uh, useful to your specific use case and just use the ChatGPT API.